So, Mr. Somerset, it has been two years since the case was solved. Has it? What was the department before? Your cousin. Special after they look at the department. His name is Robert Paulson. Well, the journalist by profession was found here yesterday by his neighbor. So the hunter becomes the hunter. Yeah, the neighbor found him here at 8 p.m. yesterday night. Let's go, Mr. Let's have a quick look. Look, if those are torn, they must have been stolen. You should look for fingerprints. Search process is free. Look at his articles. There must be something in them. These are just like many friends. Hey, look, I found this. This looks like a library card. Take me the list of all the members of the family. I think they're cousins. So, we found something in the library. There's a guy named Kevin Flynn, who's a member of the library. The journal is told about him. It destroyed. He might be a killer. Don't jump to conclusions so soon. I've seen this in many cases. You don't let your intuition rule your judgment. But the signs are clear. Rule one, you don't question me, understand? Yes, sir. No one is guilty till the judgment is passed. And nor is anyone innocent. But taking all consideration, all the tools are pointing in just one direction. All of them. Almost, most of them. Look, let me tell you something. If, from my past years, if there's something, even a, one single thing that I've learned as a detective, if there's only one single way of knowing whether a case is a setup, it is that when it's too damn easy. But uh, from now on, you just follow me. It can't be that easy. There must, there must be something we are missing. What could it possibly be? The answer lies in the Oh shit! What the hell are you? But, but you were there! I, I saw your body! This can't be happening! I'm here to help. I'm your friend. Trust me, you do not have many left. You need me. This is crazy. <laughs> Why are you following me? I'm here to help you with this. What? What will you help me with? I, I've tried to be lost all at once. I've gone big hard and hard and more than I've ever done in any case. And then, then, after, you don't solve that case. What will you help me with? This? You're on the right path. You just need to look for the right things. Who? Who was the right thing? Are you watching the movie? Mm -hmm. A clue can be anywhere. Anywhere in this house. Anywhere in the room. All you have to do is look. Yes. I'll look for the clues. I'll find the room and I'll find the clue in it. What are you? What are you? Observe the decay. Observe. Is this blood? 
Where are the clues? Where are the clues? Is this a clue? Is this a clue? Is this a clue? Is this a clue? Where are the clues? Is this a clue? Where are the clues? Where are you? I'll find you, murderer. I'll find you. Nobody gets away from my logic. You don't get away. I'll find you. He died at 8 p.m. on 27 September. His neighbors, his neighbors found his body the next morning. They found a library card there. The forensics found nothing else. There was a struggle. What else? What else? Why can I find you? Why? Hi, detective. Hi. Come in. Have you been detective? I've been solving the case. Yes, I will find the murderer. But what case? That Paulson case. That was solved. That case was not solved. You've all been deluded into believing that that case was solved. But the murderer is still out here. And I'm going to find him. There's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with me. There's something wrong with you all. How could you be led to believe that that was a murder, that the case was solved. The murderer is still on the loose, believe me. You need help, Detective. I don't need help, you... No, I get it. You are involved, I never thought of this part. Get out of my house! Get out! I'll get help for you. I don't need help, get out, get out! I don't know, he's totally obsessed with the case. But his obsession is obvious. He's totally lost it. But that's why it doesn't mean that. Yeah, let's see. So, Mr. Simpson, it has been two years since the case was solved. Has it? Yes, it has been two years. Try to remember. It has been two years. Don't try to block the memory. You were there. You saw the case being solved. Trust me, it has been two years. Try to focus. Try to remember. What are you seeing? I'm just... How, how, how can you agree that the case has been solved? Don't stress yourself. I have worked so hard on the case. And it, it hasn't been solved yet. I, I know you have worked so hard on the case. And that's why I'm helping you. I'm here to help you. Just, just try to remember your past slowly. You are not seeing the truth in its full life. So why do you think the case has not been solved? I mean... It's pretty obvious. I mean, what tells you that it has been solved? I mean, that dead guy, Robert Paulson, I see him. He has been the case. So, so you see the dead guy, Robert Paulson? Yes, I've seen him. And, and he tells me clues. He has been the case. Listen, he he's just an imagination of your mind. No, he's not. I have, you, so, you don't understand. Has anyone else seen him? Look, you still don't understand. Okay, so let's call this Robert guy right now. It doesn't work that way. Listen, Mr. Somerset, has he ever told you anything that you don't know? I mean, you know, I'll help you. Just trust me, I'll help you. Stop. No, 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 no. I am the girl. Why am I the girl? Do you know me? She said, no. I don't know the detective. Tired. What is it? Okay. Sorry, auntie, I didn't do your present. But now, 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 I have to find a way out. Yes, you have to.